guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Shubham Gupta, aka Walter Az, and today I'm gonna talk about fourth part or the fourth book from Harry Potter series, and that is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. So, guys, before I jump into the book review, I'm gonna give you a very short, crisp book summary of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, and what can you expect from this book. And why you should read it definitely. So, guys, in the third part of Harry Potter series, we didn't read much about world mode, so we all were pretty curious about what is happening on that side. So that is why we start Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, talking about world mode, where he is, what is he doing, and what is he planning, which is basically killing Harry Potter. Why is he so obsessed with this boy? Why you were not able to kill him? Just let him go. Why? 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 Back to the story. Let's talk about it. The major points in which the book is divided. I'll tell you about that because I don't want to go in the whole summary as of now. I'll definitely make a whole different video so that you don't have to read the book, and I'll read it for you. We'll do that later on. So let's just talk about the ma main major points. What are there in the book? And uh, exactly what is there in the book? So first point is Voldemort. Where is he? What is he doing? What is he planning? Which is killing Harry Potter. Second part. Now we're talking about Harry Potter. Finally, boy, you are here. Welcome to the book. It's your book. I know. So Harry Potter wakes up from a really bad pain in his car, and then he decides to write to his godfather, which is none other than. Serious black. Good choice. Third point. While all of this is happening, Quidditch World Cup is coming up, and for that, Ron Weasley decides to call Harry Potter's place, which is a place where he is tortured on a daily basis, verbally, non-verbally, he is being tortured. Fourth thing. Arthur Weasley, Fred Weasley, George Weasley. And Ron Weasley decides to show up to their place when Uncle Dudley, when Uncle Dursley decides that yes, he can go there, and he asks them not to call him ever again here. So they show up from chimney, not from the door, because that's a Muggle world too. Chimney is the way. Use the flow powder and pick a boot. You're there. So while they are at it. Arthur Weasley is very much fascinated with the fact that what muggles use, and George Weasley and Fred Weasley, being themselves, they accidentally drops a candy, which takes a whole crazy different turn. And I'm really glad this time they didn't use direct magic. Otherwise, Ministry of Magic would be sending another letter for Harry Potter, and this time they would be asking him, "Get the hell out of here." Fifth point, they use the pod key. Yes. Fifth point, they use the pod key. Basically, it's anything scrap that is used. Now I'm kind of curious. They use as a way to travel from one place to another because they don't use trains or buses, which is nice because they use night bus, but nothing else. And. Uh, when before that happens, we get to meet Bill Weasley and Charlie Weasley. They are really sweet boy. Now they use the port key to reach the Quidditch World Cup place. Boom! There they are. The whole Weasley family, apart from Mrs. Weasley, Harry Potter, and Cedric and his brother, which is kind of good because I just missed mentioning Hermione. I thought we were just covering the book in different points, not the whole story. I'll stick to that. Wait a minute. Now, World Cup, Quidditch World Cup is really crazy. The way it is explained is mind blowing. So that's one thing that you are going to love in the book. That is why you should read it. I am gonna say it out loud. Now, coming to the sixth part, Dark Mark arises. Death Eater are everywhere. At least four of them are there, and the rest they are getting back to their followers. Death Eaters are basically the followers of Voldemort, who have a dark mark on their arm, and that dark mark that 
is visible in the sky which is followed by which is which happens on the night followed by the Quidditch World Cup match so there it's going crazy so there it's crazy and the suspect is not a Death Eater it's Harry Potter and one of the Ministry of Magic person's houses now the seventh part this is crazy and we are yet not uh, we have yet not talked about goblet of fire we'll get there now the seventh part or was it eighth part please keep account i'm not gonna keep account of it now because story is getting interesting now okay mad eye moody attacks an intruder and uh, Boom, it's all on Mr. Weasley. Mr. Weasley is going here and there to see, the, to sort out the things. I don't understand why is he doing it, why is no one else from the Minister of Magic doing anything. But we'll get to know the answers to that too, pretty soon. Now, during the Quidditch World Cup, the whole peep, the people, the people there, Mr. Weasley, uh, Mr. Ludo, Mr. Crouch, uh, these three people were discussing about what's gonna happen in Howards this year, what no one talked much about, but there was a little bit of a hint that you should look forward to this years of Howard and how it's gonna change everything. Now, the next part. Next part is Mad Eye Moody, that scene is sorted out and everyone is on the train to Howard and Mrs. Weasley at that point of time says that you know what this year is gonna be a blast you should just wait for it and everyone is asking what's gonna happen what's gonna happen what's gonna happen and no one answers to that now when they reach when they arrive Howard just like every year this year is sorting hard has not song which is gonna be sung by Saudi Heart and new joiners new students new batch so now new batch uh, are sorted into different houses and they are invited they are welcomed with open arms and story moves on and that was the very point of time where we start talking about Goblet of Fire so what happens is in Goblet of Fire there is a big goblet which is placed in the middle of the school at that very point of time which is presented to the students and there are some rules according to which all the things are going to happen there is a triwizard tournament is going to happen in the Howard only this year where students of certain age can take part and uh, only that age students can write their name down and put it in the goblet and goblet will pick three names one from each school in this book we are not gonna only talk about Howards, but there are two other schools which are being involved in this goblet of fire now we are expanding our horizon from Howards to other college other to other schools also so to say that finally we are not gonna stick to only one place and it won't be like that Howard is just a made up thing but also because there will be more schools in different locations I will put on a little bit more impact on the magical world because earlier when we were just talking about Howard it was literally like that there is only one magical school where from in which all throughout the world they are taking in students but now that we are talk we are talking about three different schools we can easily or you know say it with a concrete thought that Howard is not the only school so while talking about Trivisa tournament we are not only sticking to it but also because as we know in the last three books not even a single dark art teacher has decided to stay too long in the co in the school at least not more than an year so this year we have mad eye moody as our new dark art teacher mad eye moody is a really crazy character that is being shown on here and uh, sometimes 
he looks like he is really biased towards the rest of the school and when it comes to harry potter he is very soft hearted which is why he is always there to save him to help him out in everything possible for example this one time he turned malfoy into a ferret and other times he would just scare them away so those are the kind of things that are happening there and in the dark art dark arts teach so this is the second time where we are talking about the spells because in the prison of azkaban uh mr lupin professor lupin taught uh, how to handle bogards and then he talked about petronas charm he taught harry potter specifically and as the time moves on uh, all the charms that they are learning harry potter is being very specific with these things and he is learning very thing everything very quickly and it's getting easier for him to save himself and to understand how everything works now we'll just skip bunch of months in the book and we are in october that is the point where we are going to start talking about tribe wizard tournament that is related to the goblet of fire which is why we are reading this book in the first place so now the other two schools are being introduced how and what their capabilities are how do they enter it's really beautiful how they talk about it and we are still not talking about the major plots here for example what is happening with voldemort there are some things that are going below the surface but neither one of us see it coming so that's how the goblet of fire is going to work so there we get to know that there are three different rounds and based on each round we get to know who wins the goblet of fire and the prize money when all three schools are there they finally one person from each school is decided that who is going to play the tournament but now as we all know it's harry potter and the goblet of fire if we don't have harry potter in it what is the point of talking about it at all So the fourth name arise. Yes, there is one fourth name, and that is of Harry Potter. Now, uh, there is a lot of fuss. There are a lot of issues. That there is a cheating. This is happening. That is happening, and all that blah blah blah. Finally, everyone accepts it sooner or later that Harry Potter is a part of the tournament, and he can't back up. Uh, he can't back off now because um uh, slowly and steadily the way everyone is accepting and the people who are not able to accept it. is going on ron is pissed off at him hermione is acting on a whole different way and everything along the lines so now i'm not going to talk a lot about triwizard tournament just going to give you a small glimpse of what these things are and so to say there are cheating is going on people are behaving in a way people are behaving not in a way and there are people who are helping each other there are people who don't want to help each other of uh, how the teachers are behaving towards each other how the judges are behaving how they are giving marks they how they are giving scores and who are those people they are giving scores to so there is a lot of things are that are going on but there is very one stagnant thing that's happening is harry potter in one way or another he is able to find help for himself he is not being a chosen one here because in earlier books somehow he would know how to crack the code or how to get himself out of that situation but in tribes a tournament even if he is able to find the help to get himself out of that situation it is still in a crazy way because he doesn't know what's going to happen next even if he it's it's more like you have an answer notebook but you don't know exactly the question is going to be related to you have the whole passage written to you for example he gets to know uh, that the first match is for the dragons second is in the egg but he doesn't know how to open it third is he gets that weird thing to secure himself in underwater but he still not able to because he doesn't know how what is going to happen next and he is almost killed or something along the lines then in the third part he knows that it's a maze because they are being introduced to it beforehand but he doesn't know finally exactly how to get out of it but there are ways he can manage his way out um 
the kind of magic he can do there and the kind of magic he does he can't do there now when we're talking about the goblet of fire and the tribe is are being on its last phase it's finally at a stage where we are going to say goodbye to the book because it's almost at the ending of the book there is so much apart from these things for example we have ron uh, behaving in a different way towards harry and hermione hermione behaving in a different way then we have uh, how ron can be you know inconsiderate related to others feelings and the kind of words ha- that he can use knowing or unknowingly then we have uh, how these small things actually affect people and uh, we have a proper dance of uh, all the three schools coming together so uh, it's more it's more like prom night even if not exactly it's a lot like that and uh, how the main people who are taking part in the tribes or tournament will be at the spotlight and, and apart from these things we get a glimpse in the life of house elves because hermione drags them to the kitchen and there you get two different house elves in a whole different condition and situation for example uh dobby who who finally got his freedom is enjoying it while the other house elf who used to work at mr crouch because of the dark mark arise that the whole situation of dark mark uh, she was let out and she doesn't like that kind of freedom and she wants to just go back and help mr crouch and his family so those are the kind of things that we have during all the tribes or tournament is going on now in the third phase third part or more like the third game of tribe is a tournament is where we get to know a lot about world mode and what is happening there in the third phase cedric and harry potter are the only two people who are left in the maze and they reach the goblet of fire at the same point of time apparently it turns out that the goblet of fire is not exactly a trophy but it's a port key and they are being thrown into the side of the world mode we have world mode as it's graveyard and a lot of things happen for example there are a lot of things that are happening uh, world mode is being brought back to the life and harry potter is on the verge of getting killed um, dark death eaters are there cedric is being killed no one understand what's going on when he comes back he tries to explain everything but no one is listening and everyone is trying to say that he's just making it up that whole piece where harry potter and cedric are in that graveyard it's scary and it but it gives you a whole rush that how cedric was just trying to get out of that place and before he could do anything or before he could defend himself he was killed with just one curse once harry returns mad eye moody picks him up because he is so shaken to his bones that he can't stand uh, mad eye moody picks him up and takes him into his room where he explains that he is not mad eye moody he is one of the death eaters and what is the reality Uh, of uh, how why he was uh, trying to help uh, and he explains the reality of why he was trying to help harry potter and who put his name who put harry potter's name in the goblet of fire how did all of it happen what what was the, the truth behind the port key and goblet of fire and all that stuff uh, snape dumbledore both burst into the room and uh, the uh, snape gives him the truth potion and he starts explaining that who he really is and uh, he is crouch son he is mr crouch son and how did he end up outside azkaban 
when he was meant to be inside the Asgard. Uh, before we reach at this point of time, there is one very crucial thing that happens and that is before the maze piece, Harry Potter actually meets Mr. Crouch in the lawn uh, where he is with Crumb and because he's very disabled, Mr. Crouch is very disabled and he's out of his mind, Harry Potter tries to get the teacher, one of the teacher to help him but before he arrives there with the teacher, Mr. Crouch is gone. There are a lot of things in the book and uh, I think I was going to give you a very crisp book summary but I ended up telling you everything so this is what it is. And now when all of this is happening that the truth of Mr. Crouch's son is out and Mad Eye Moody's reality is out that basically all these months Mad Eye Moody was locked up in a box in a box in a trunk uh, we see a whole different world that what the reality is there now because of what happened last night what happened that very day in a Trivisor tournament, Harry Potter is taken to the hospital bed. There, Dumbledore tries to explain everything to the Ministry of Magic that Harry Potter was almost killed by Voldemort and they should believe him and they should side up with him with Dumbledore and try to save the world with him. More like the world because Death Eaters, Voldemort is trying to own the world and with his black power. And while all of this is going on, Rita Skeeters is gone missing, which is taken by a very amazing person. So guys, that's what the book Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire is all about. So now, what I really liked about the book, it is that the characters are uh, being explained in a really great way. All the characters and the, the way their minds are working is really nice. Each character is being explained to their own core in a very beautiful way. You can justify their behavior after a point of time when you get to know about their side of the story. And it's really important. Uh, the explanation and the trials of tournament, the way that is brought up in this very specific part. It talks about that not only how it is there but also other countries have their own magical world. And it's all sort of interrelated by small parties, the things that the things are going on and how someone can just impersonate another person. So if you have a hatch, so if you have an idea that this person must not be acting or behaving in a certain way, you should always check on them. The other things that I loved about this book is if the depth we are talking about and the beauty of each scene is really amazing. The way we are behaving around the places, the way we explain that the things are being explained to us regarding a tournament, how they met a specific piece. There's not a lot of mysteries if you try to understand everything, but the way everything gets unveiled after a point of time, it's beautiful it's because here you'll get to know a lot about the Quidditch match. You'll get to know about all the different countries where oh, there are magical schools and how do magic works in there. So it's not only about being powerful and uh, uh, being mean or being and learning, you know, charms and all that, but also how it really moves from country to country like Krum, he's very you know uh, he can do the fighting and all very easily but if we're talking about the Bellas but if we're talking about the ladies the charm is a whole different thing so it's a lot of those things characters are explained very in depth but we haven't talked a lot about Mr. Snape here which I'm really not happy about because somehow Snape is one of my favorite characters as of now. Despite the fact, till here, even including the fourth part of Harry Potter, there is not 
much good side we have read about or um, we haven't read good side of snape yet i feel that i have a liking towards this character it's really nice now talking about what i didn't like about the book that is my questions that are left being unanswered there's bunch of questions not too many in this book because a lot of things are explained one after another but yet i have bunch of questions for example let me just start off right now first question how come okay i understand that they can trace what was the last thing that was done with a wand how is it possible that anyone can use another wand isn't it like that a person has a specific capabilities to handle a wand very easily so if that's the case then why is the house elves of mr crouch was being punished second question uh, students in harvard can play quidditch match very easily they need permission to go to hogsmeade a letter from their parents more like but to be a part of a game like triwizard tournament where they know there will be dragons there will be maze there will be this there will be that how come they allowed these children to be a part of it and what kind of rule book says that if your name pops out of that uh, goblet of fire you would have to be a part of it isn't it like there would be only three people then how come goblet of fire actually picked harry potter's name it could have been possible that cedric's name wouldn't have popped up it's just harry potter's name so why didn't anyone check it with the goblet of fire properly third question why was dumbledore so mad if dumbledore was so mad at harry potter for putting his name which he did not put why did he not speak up why didn't he more like said that this should not be happening we don't have permission from your parents either i mean like hogsmeade is so really crazy place that you need parents permission to go there but try as that is a piece of cake that no one needs anyone's permission for that how does it make sense fourth question how okay i agree there are a lot of cheating that we all do in exams before exams during exam after exam but how is it possible that harry potter not even once questioned the mad eye moody that why is he helping him out i understand that uh, hagrid is helping him out uh dobby is helping him out why didn't he ask dobby from where did you get to know the you know the secret of getting through the second phase of it hagrid was very smart in doing this that he can just ask harry to be under that blanket and he will be invisible in it makes sense another question how come not even a single girl was able to do her charm to stop dragon i mean like they can do charm and people were just looking at them and be like okay you win why not another question based on the fact the way mad eye moody behaved throughout the book how it looks a lot like that he is an alcoholic person because he is always holding a flask to him which is not a water bottle and not even a cup of tea it's a flask flask simply means alcohol isn't it dude i'm just asking or am i wrong how can they allow a teacher like mad eye moody in the school wanted leave a bad impression on the children that they can just be drunk or uh, they can just take a, a sip from their flask every time here and there and they just can roam around how come madai moody was allowed to be the teacher yes he is nice and all and how come no one ever noticed it polly juice potion needs to be drunk after every one hour how come no one noticed it okay i lost the count was it fourth or fifth question that 
Azkaban is all about Dementors eating up your or being fed on your bad memories. How come Crowd's son actually makes it out? Yes, he explains how does he do that. But how is it possible? And those four Death Eaters, how come they came out of Azkaban saying? It doesn't make sense. It really does not make sense to me. If it makes sense to you, do let me know. If it does make sense to you, do let me know. If you have answered to any of those questions, do let me know. And that's all from my side, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. And I hope you guys are staying safe. So that's all from my side, guys. Guys, until next time, stay safe, take care of yourself, and inside to the fullest, rest. I, I attach the link to my other videos in the description below, and to my other platforms also in the description below only. So guys, until next time, stay safe, take care, and bye-bye.